I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to create a beautiful falling leaf for the season, autumn or fall. So grab your mark makers and let's make some art. Okay, so we're going to begin our drawing with drawing our nice leaf over here. So save this side of your paper, the left side, um, for your leaf. And then on this side, we're going to be adding a stick. Okay, and yes, they're of course both friends in the season fall. So here we go. First, we're gonna begin the leaf with a nice, tall arch shape. Then we're gonna draw two more arches on either side. Bring it around and up, around and up. A little nub or like a, almost like a heart, right? It's almost like a little heart but too wide at the bottom. And then we'll end it with another pair of organic shapes there, and then we'll end it with a stem. So we'll bring two lines out, and we'll end it in a wonderfully shaped oval at the bottom. And there at the bottom, you can add a nice little spiral in there with some lines just to add an artist flavor and to make it seem like it's really just coming down and out towards the viewer. All right, so we're gonna attach the leaf part to that stem. And then I'm also going to bring up two lines just a little bit, but I'm gonna stop part way up. So I want these lines to stop and they'll finish up here. For next, we're going to draw the eyes. So on either side of the leaf, Add two circles. In each of those circles, add a larger circle and then two smaller circles. So it looks like that. Next, we're gonna carefully color in the remaining space. So that the eyes are complete. Now, between the eyes, draw a straight line. So draw a straight line between the eyes and then draw a very big letter U. And that's why we wanted to stop this stem, right? Because I wanted to leave some space for the face and then we'll continue the stem above it. Inside the mouth, we're going to draw a nice giant curving line and then we'll fill in that remaining space with whatever we're making our mark with. Beautiful. Let's add some expressive lines around the eyes and you can do this also around the mouth. Now let's finish that stem since we have the opportunity. So we're going to bring those lines nearly to the mouth. Then right above, we'll continue it into a triangular shape. So we're gonna give that illusion that it actually does go right through that leaf. But of course, we're leaving some room for the face. Now, simply take your mark maker and go around to the contour of your leaf to thicken up those lines and clean them all up so they look nice and straight.
Awesome. Now we're ready to draw the stick. So up towards the top, we're going to add the stick across the top of the page. So I'm just going to slide this guy down a little bit so you can see the top of my composition. So here we go. From the right side of the page, I'm going to draw a line out. Add a teeny tiny branch. And then another. So these are two kind of triangular shapes or zigzag shapes. And then we're going to bring it all the way back to the edge of the paper. Now this is going to be the leaf's friend. So we're going to make it seem that way because in this story that is our artwork, this leaf has just fallen from its branch that it's been friends with all spring and summer. So we need to let these two friends say goodbye as they go off on their separate journeys. So thicken up your branch lines and now we're ready to draw the face. So somewhere on your branch, I want you to give your branch a face. Draw two circles. And then we want the pupils to be facing or looking towards the leaf. So we want to put them in an area that's closest to where the leaf is. And then we're going to fill in most of the pupil, just leaving a little bit of white. Okay. Now we're gonna draw a line towards the top and in between the eyes and then a much wider U-shape, a much wider U-shape. And in this branch, or in the end in this mouth, we're going to draw the letter M for the tongue. So draw the letter M inside the mouth and then carefully color in the remaining space inside that mouth. And of course you can give some either eyelashes to the branch or some different expressive lines to the mouth and to the branch, it's up to you. Now we need to make it seem like this leaf has fallen from the branch. So we're going to use line to indicate movement that this leaf has fallen from the branch and is making its way on its journey. So we're gonna draw lines from the spot on the branch, wherever that might be on your artwork. So from the spot on the branch, down towards the leaf. So we're gonna have them start to close together and then slowly spread wider toward the shape of the leaf as though he's going whoosh down the sky. Whoosh down your paper. some nice little spirals or swirls at the bottom because of course air moves in such magical ways and doesn't that look great we'll zoom out so we can see wonderful well my friends I think we are ready to add some color so I would like you to pick out some fall colors, whatever that means to you. Generally, we think about fall colors as colors that are warm colors, or if you were to look outside and you have a season that is fall in your area, a lot of the time you'll see that leaves turn yellows or browns or reds. Some turn very bright colors and others are dull. So you pick whatever colors that you want to use for your leaf and your branch. And we're going to color these guys first and then just highlight with just a little bit of blue. We're not gonna go crazy town with the blue. However, in your artwork, you sure can. I'm just gonna highlight different areas of my artwork. I'm going to begin by using a yellow. Now, you can use the same colors as me, but feel free to use different colors. I'm going to use a yellow. And I'm gonna color most of my stem with that yellow, just down the center 
And then on the sides, I'll use brown. That way it'll look like it has some natural highlights and shadows on it. Alright, in the centers of this leaf, I'll highlight with some yellow. So in each of those curving areas, I'll add some yellow. And then I'll fill in the remaining areas with orange. And if you want to go right on top of that yellow, you sure can. It's always nice to mix and blend colors. Once you've done that, um, we're going to, I'm going to grab a bit of brown and a bit of red and I'm going to use these for my shadows. So you can do the same or do what makes you happy as the artist of your beautiful artwork. You can also take a bit of blue and just highlight around the eyes. You could use a couple different browns if you have them to color the branch so that way there's a darker 
hue on the bottom and a lighter one on the top or a darker value. The lighter on the top. And you can give it a nice red tongue. Blue around the eyes. Around the pupils. Beautiful. And now we're just going to highlight. So I'm actually going to take off some of this paper on my crayon. That way I can make a bigger mark. Look at that. Now I can make a nice powerful stroke. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight in these areas. I'm holding it on its side. nice long blue strokes and using my other hand to anchor that paper we're just giving a little nice touch of blue in that sky now if you want to do the whole background blue you sure can and remember you should do what makes you happy as the artist of your own artwork and just like that our beautiful falling leaf Artwork for fall is done. Art teachers and classroom teachers, if you're looking for more fall art tutorials or art lessons that you can use in your classroom that have all the elements that you need to teach it successfully and engage your students, you can head on over to my Teachers to Pay Teachers store and inside the fall category, which I'll put the link directly to that category below in the comment section or description of this video, so check that out, you're gonna find lessons that are complete and planned for you. They'll include lesson plans, a rubric, student handouts, and visual slides. So for each step, you'll get a visual and text slide that shows each step for the creation of the art project. So take a look at that. If you're looking for more fall or Halloween or Thanksgiving art projects to help you teach successfully in the year. Artastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.